No, I'm practicing. I have great news to deliver to everyone on earth, and I don't want to get it wrong. What's the news? A baby will be born in Bethlehem, and his name will be Jesus Christ. He will be called the Son of God and the Prince of Peace. He will teach people how to love each other, save them from sin, and give them life everlasting. Yes, it is about to happen again, but I need someone to tell the story so that all these people can share in the miracle. Will you help me? You do know the story, right? Well, yeah, I think so. The first thing that happens is that the angel appears to Mary. Hold that thought. I don't want to be late. Hail Mary, God is with you. Wow, what does that mean? Well, in your case, you will have a baby, and he will be called Christ the Lord. But that's impossible. Nothing is impossible with God. The baby will be a child of the Holy Spirit. He will be called the Son of God and the Prince of Peace. He will teach people how to love each other, save them from sin, and give them life everlasting. Does God really love you that much? God loves all his children, past, present, and future. But you are special because you have been chosen to bring his message to earth. If God wants you to do that, then that's what I'll do. A few days later, the angel visited Joseph in a dream. Hail Joseph, God is with you. Wow, what does that mean? Well, in your case, that means that your fiancé, Mary, is going to have a baby. He will be called the Son of God and the Prince of Peace. He will teach people how to love each other, save them from sin, and give them life everlasting. But that's impossible. With God, nothing is impossible. Are you sure? Trust me, I'm an angel. <laughs> <laughs> when Mary and Joseph were getting ready to have a baby, they had to take a last-minute trip to Bethlehem. They traveled on her donkey because Mary got tired of nobody offering her a seat on the subway. I don't think that's in the story. Who's telling you? You or me? <laughs> By the time they got to Bethlehem, Mary and Joseph were very tired. Look, a hotel where we can stay.
angels gathered around the baby, and everyone knew right away how special he was. Meanwhile, the angel appeared to a group of shepherds who were staying up late to guard their sheep. Count Shepherd, God is living. Wow, that's it. Well, here's the baby has been born. His name is Jesus. He will be called the Son of God and the Prince of Peace. He will teach people how to love each other, save them from sin, and give them life everlasting. It's amazing! Where can we find him? Go that way and look for the baby in the barn. And when you find him, spread the good news that, the, that Jesus has been born. <laughs> and so the shepherds and Mary and Joseph and the angels and all the animals squeezed into the barn to celebrate Jesus' birth. And there was a great rejoicing in all the... Wait! It feels like somebody's missing! I don't think you can fit anybody else. No, I'm sure there was somebody else I was supposed to tell. <laughs> of course, three's three wise people. I guess they'll just have to be a little late. <laughs> so the angel went east to a faraway country and appeared to the three wise people. Hail, wise people. God is with you. Well, in your case, it means that a new star will appear in the sky. Follow that star until it stops. There, and there you will find the baby Jesus. He will be called the Son of God and the Prince of Peace. He will teach people how to love each other, save them from sin, and give them life everlasting. Let us go now and see this baby. Wait, you should bring presents. Good idea. Let's bring him gold and frankincense and love. What is frankincense and myrrh? Things that smell really good. <laughs> so the wise people came and they bought Jesus gifts of gold and also frankincense and myrrh, which are things that smell really good. I think that's the end of the story, right? The end? That's just the beginning. I have to share the good news with everyone in the world. That's impossible. With God, nothing is impossible. Where do you even start? We started 2,000 years ago in Bethlehem, and we've started again today. Keep telling the story. So the angel appeared in Wellington to the Christian Revival Center. <laughs> <laughs> Hail Wellington CRC, God is with you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, in your case, it means that I bring good news of great joy for all the people. For to you is born this day a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Spread the good news today and every day. Jesus is born. Ha, ha, ha.